In this video, we will go through the configuration process for Stripe subscription payments for WP eStore. Be sure that you have WP eStore and the separate payment gateway bundle set up before following along. First, you need to enable the Stripe payment gateway. If you would like to still allow other payment methods to be used during checkout, you will need to enable multiple gateways. To enable multiple gateways, go to WP eStore, then Settings. Then click the Payment Gateway Settings tab from across the top of the screen. Put a check next to Use Multiple Payment Gateways if it isn't already there, then scroll down and click the Update button. Now, to enable the Stripe Payment Gateway, go to Settings, then Payment Gateway Bundle. Click the Gateway Settings tab from across the top of the screen. Scroll down and look for the Stripe Settings panel. Put a check in the Use Stripe Payment box. In a new tab, log into your Stripe account. From the left side of the screen, click the API link. Copy over your secret and publishable keys to the Stripe settings on your site. Use the test keys initially until you're ready to go live with Stripe. Click the Update button when complete the setup. Scroll back down to the Stripe settings panel. Copy out the webhook URL. Go back to your Stripe dashboard and click Webhooks from the left side. Click Settings, then Add Endpoint. Paste in the URL, change the mode to Test for now, then click Create. Now, Navigate to the General Settings tab of the Payment Gateway Bundle to validate some of the settings and to set up the test environment for Stripe. At the top is where you will specify the language, currency code, and currency symbol. Three pages were created automatically when the Gateway Bundle was installed. This next section allows you to override the default pages or set them up manually if there was an error during setup. In general, you can leave these as is. Enable testing mode in the next step. Optionally, enable debugging if you want to check where any errors have occurred during your testing. Click the Update button when complete. Now you can set up a subscription product within WP eStore. Stripe differs slightly in how reoccurring subscription payments work. Notable differences from other gateways are that Stripe does not allow you to charge for trials. You either must offer a free trial or no trial at all. Leave the trial billing amount and trial billing period fields empty if not offering a trial. Stripe doesn't allow for billing cycles to be specified in days. They only support weekly, monthly, and yearly. WP eStore doesn't have a weekly option. Therefore, if you want to set up a weekly billing cycle, just use the Days option and make it a multiple of 7. WP eStore will do the conversion to weekly when using the Stripe Payment button. The Recurring Billing Count and Reattempt on Failure fields will be ignored when using a Stripe Payment button as these features are not supported by Stripe. After filling in the necessary product fields for your subscription product, save it and make note of the product ID. Use the WP underscore PG underscore eStore underscore subscription underscore button shortcode within a post or page to allow subscription payments with Stripe. Include the ID parameter with the value equal to the product ID you just created. Include the gateway parameter with the value stripe underscore s-u-b-s-c. Save your changes. 
Disable any maintenance plugins and do a test transaction to be sure that the stripe works as expected. Enter test billing information. Then enter a test credit card number and other payment details. Stripe provides test credit card numbers that must be used when in test mode. You can use the Visa number 4242, 4242, 4242, 4242 when testing. Click the Submit button when complete. Go back to your Stripe dashboard and click the Payments link to confirm the transaction. Once you are happy with how Stripe is working, you can switch from test mode to live mode. In the Stripe dashboard, go to Webhooks, then Settings. Copy the URL, delete the test endpoint, then create a new one for live mode. In the API section in Stripe, get the live keys. Then, in WordPress, go to Settings, then Payment Gateway Bundle, then Gateway Settings. In the Stripe Settings panel, paste in your live keys and click Update. In the General Settings tab, disable Test Mode, then save your changes. Since Stripe does not support the recurring billing count feature, in the event you would like to end a subscription, go to the Subscription Settings tab for the Payment Gateway Bundle. Scroll down and look for the Stripe panel and enter in the Subscription ID and click Cancel Subscription. You can find the Subscription ID in the Manage Customers section of WP eStore.